The ongoing cost of living crisis in the UK is more than just numbers on a spreadsheet. It's a daily struggle for millions of people who are finding it harder and harder to make ends meet. In early August 2024, the UK's Office for National Statistics reported that inflation was stubbornly high at 7.9%. This marks one of the longest periods of inflationary pressure in recent history. While wages are increasing, they're not keeping up with inflation, growing at only 6.2% over the same period. These figures reflect the harsh reality for many Britons who are grappling with the rising costs of essentials like food, energy and housing. So, how did the UK end up here? And how are people managing in the face of this relentless cost of living crisis? The roots of this crisis run deep, stemming from a series of unfortunate events that have built up over the years. It all began with Brexit in 2016, which disrupted trade relationships and drove up the cost of imported goods. This was followed by the COVID-19 pandemic, which nearly brought the UK economy to a halt, causing widespread job losses and a sharp drop in GDP. Then, in 2022, Russia's invasion of Ukraine sent energy prices soaring across Europe, including the UK. Together, these events created the perfect storm for an inflationary surge that has been tough to rein in. To combat inflation, the Bank of England has raised interest rates multiple times, bringing the base rate to 5.25% by mid-2024. While this was meant to cool inflation, it also made borrowing more expensive, adding to the financial strain on households. As a result, the cost of essentials keeps climbing while wage growth lags behind, leaving millions of Britons in a precarious financial situation. Faced with these challenges, people have had to adapt in various ways. Food banks, for instance, have become a lifeline for many. In the financial year from April 2023 to March 2024, more than 3.1 million emergency food parcels were distributed by food banks in the Trussell Trust network, marking the highest number ever recorded. This substantial increase underscores just how severe the crisis has become, as even those with jobs struggle to afford basic necessities. The high cost of energy has also forced households to make tough choices. A survey by the Resolution Foundation in early 2024 found that nearly half of all households had to cut back on heating during the winter to save money. This has led to the rise of warm banks, public spaces like libraries where people can stay warm without having to heat their homes. Others have resorted to layering up with blankets and heavy clothing indoors to cope with the cold. Debt has become a major coping mechanism as well. By July of 2024, Step Change Debt Charity reported that 21 million Britons were struggling with bills and credit commitments. Many have turned to high-interest loans and payday lenders, despite the long-term risks of such borrowing. The average household debt among Step Change's clients now exceeds £15,000, not including mortgages. This growing debt burden is not just a financial issue. It's also taking a toll on people's mental health and well-being. In response to the crisis, the UK government has introduced several measures to help ease the financial pressures on households. One of the key initiatives has been the Energy Price Guarantee, implemented in October 2022, which capped the unit cost of electricity and gas. While this provided some relief, it has been criticised as a temporary fix rather than a long-term solution to the underlying problem of energy affordability. Beyond immediate relief efforts, the government has also taken steps to address the root causes of the crisis. There has been a push to increase the supply of affordable housing, a key factor driving the cost of living. The government has committed to building 300,000 new homes per year, focusing on affordable housing. However, critics argue that these targets are overly ambitious and that more needs to be done to address issues like land availability and planning regulations. There have also been calls for a significant increase in the minimum wage. The Trades Union Congress has been particularly vocal in advocating for this change, arguing that it's the most effective way to lift people out of poverty and reduce reliance on welfare. In response, the government has raised the national living wage, which is set to increase to £11 per hour by the end of 2024. While this is a positive step, many believe it's still not enough to keep pace with the rising cost of living. The government has also recognised the need to invest in renewable energy as a long-term solution to the energy crisis.
by reducing the UK's reliance on volatile global energy markets, they hope to stabilize energy prices and make energy more affordable for households. In 2024, the government announced plans to invest £10 billion in renewable energy projects, including wind, solar and nuclear power. While these investments are crucial for the future, they will take time to deliver results and households are unlikely to see immediate relief. The government's broader strategy includes boosting domestic production and reducing dependency on imports as part of an effort to build a more self-sufficient economy. However, these initiatives will take time and significant investment before they can deliver tangible benefits to the average household. As the crisis continues, the UK's economic outlook remains uncertain. Many economists are warning of a potential recession in the coming year, driven by the combination of high inflation, rising interest rates, and stagnant wage growth. The global nature of the factors driving the crisis means there are no easy solutions, and the road to recovery will be long and challenging. Looking ahead, the lessons from this crisis will be crucial for other nations facing similar challenges. The UK's experience serves as a stark reminder of the importance of economic resilience and the need for proactive policies that protect the most vulnerable. If there's any silver lining, it's that this crisis has highlighted the strength and resilience of communities and the importance of supporting one another in tough times. In conclusion, the ongoing cost of living crisis in the UK is a complex issue that has left millions struggling to cope. From the soaring costs of essentials to the growing reliance on food banks and the rise in personal debt, the impact has been profound. While there are no easy solutions, the resilience shown by Britons in the face of adversity is a testament to their strength. As the crisis continues, it's crucial that policymakers take bold action to address the root causes and provide lasting relief. Only by learning from this experience can we hope to prevent similar crises in the future. But it's not just the government that needs to act. Businesses, communities and individuals all have a role to play in addressing the crisis. Employers, for example, can help by offering fair wages and flexible working conditions while communities can continue to support those in need through local initiatives and charities. Individuals, too, can contribute by being mindful of their consumption habits and supporting sustainable practices. Ultimately, the cost of living crisis in the UK is a shared challenge that requires a collective response. By working together, we can help ensure that everyone has access to the basic necessities of life and that no one is left behind in these difficult times. While the road ahead may be long, there is hope that, with the right policies and actions, the UK can emerge from this crisis stronger and more resilient than before. If you want to stay ahead in understanding the economy, smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to Economic Angle. See you in the next video.